Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I want to go over the Monday PM Silver Bullet for Monday, November 13th. So first thing we're going to do is we are going to turn on the Kraken Silver Bullet Pro indicator. And we have our, our 130 line, our 830 line, our Sunday opening price. And let's turn on the last three sessions here and see where liquidity is resting at the moment. Now I like to squint this back and smush it down a little bit so I can see where everything's at. Okay, so starting from top down, we have our AM buy side liquidity right there. There's liquidity above that. New York lunch high has been taken. Obviously the kill zone has been taken here high. New York lunch has been taken right here by one or two ticks. And then New York AM and and uh, the kills on low are the same right there. So let's take off. We can take off both kill zones and we can actually take off the lunch. But uh, let's take off. Well, here's the lunch low oh, and high. So let's take off both lunch high and low. Okay, so we should all we have left is the AM buy side up here and the AM sell side right here. And we do. Okay, perfect. All right, so let's, let's, let's zoom in here. Okay. So what do we do? We, we took out a New York lunch low here, and then we have a market structure shift right there. And we went higher, and then we're starting to retrace. What I do when I'm trading, if it's going like this, I'm going to pull the fib and see what optimal trade entry is doing. Like, is it going to respect that? Do I have any, any PD rays in optimal trade entry that could be used for support? And we do. We have a fair value gap there and a fair value gap there. Basically at the 0.62 and the 0.705. So we want to see, are these going to be respected? Or are they going to be violated, right? It can wick through them, but it has to close. It can't close below both of them. If it closes below both of them, I'm going to use them for an inversion on the way down. Okay, that's my mentality of this. Now, do you pass other PDRAs on your way down? You do, right? But if you go past optimal trade entry, like the 0.79, close below it, I'm out. I'm either out of my trade or I'm not getting in a trade. It can wick through but if it can't close below it okay and so right now my bias would be to target the am buy side because where we're at with price action right now oops we are so much closer to buy side than we are sell side all the rest of the liquidity has been taken other than you know this you know trailing it behind up here okay so that's where i'm at So let's see what we do here. Okay, I'm going to buy a contract there. And I'm going to target the buy side liquidity here. Okay, now the very next candle is going to be very telling. Why is the next candle going to be telling? Let me draw a candle here. And let's just let's fill this in. Let's make it let's make it black there and let's make it black here. And then let's make it really, there you go, you can see that better. Okay, so let's, let's pretend this is a candle, okay? Come on. Come on. Okay, so if this candle opens and it goes like this, I'm going to make that bigger so I can grab it. I'm getting out of the trade right here. Why? Well, because then for me, at around optimal trade entry, it broke one fair value gap here, one fair value gap here, and then created a new fair value gap that it also violated, right? That it created, right? Against me. I'm going long. That's I don't want to see that. So for me, that's where I'm exiting. I'd be closing my position here, not letting it take me all the way out. Okay? If, oh, come on. If, so I do I try to grab this again. See if I can grab this. If this candle goes like this, 
I'm fine. If it goes like this, I can't close below that first one. Cannot close above that for below that first one. If it goes like this, I'm fine too. It, do, it doesn't create a new fair value gap. If it closes below this fair value gap and creates a fair value gap, I'm out. Okay, and if I, I just I just have to be out. Okay, so this very next candle is going to be very telling. Okay, that worked out well. I, I like that better. Okay. Now, because it took out both lunch sell side and buy side liquidity, once this goes over 60%, I'm going to trail my stop pretty aggressively. And I'll be looking for three PDRAs to be violated or my TP hit. So that's my, that's my plan. I need to close above. Okay. So let me, here's my trailing stop right here. And right now I'd probably move it right about here. Why would I move it there? We've got PD right here. Oh. All right, let's do this like this. Okay. You got a very small volume imbalance here. I'm not gonna mark it because it's very hard to mark. Got a fair value gap right there. And this would be the low, so I'd take that, right? You can actually move this to this low here, right here, this swing low. Okay. So let's just keep going candle by candle and reevaluate and keep evaluating. Why am I doing that? Again, we already took New York lunch sell side and buy buy side came down, filled an efficiency, and now taken out a new uh, high here, right? We haven't cleared the AM buy side liquidity, but we did, people that were going long, going short from up here, their stops are above here. We just took those, okay? So kind of got to be careful over here where you're at. If I leave three PDRAs, I'm out. I don't want to see you get violated Oof. There's one. We created a fair value gap there. I want to see that fair value gap get filled back in. There we go. Whew. Okay. Well, this would be this. What I was saying was this is an inversion now. Inversion fair value gap. Okay, so we've got one, two, three. Now my stop has to go up high right here. Why? Inversion. This is now an inversion too. And this is not. This is just a fair value gap. Um, actually, this is back to normal fair value gap. Either way, three PDRAs right there, right? You even got this order block right here, which you can count as at the top of it, you know? So just seeing where we're at here. See if we're going to take that AM buy set or not. Okay, still took that high again. All right, left another fair value gap right here. Another fair value gap. Let's see this right here. Okay, so now we're here. Okay, I'm thinking about closing my trade. 
because if you want to call this a, an order block here, you can say order block. They can use this as an order block. Or, uh, yeah, swing. Here's your order block here. We're down through this. Down through this one. We're in the middle of this one right here. It takes me out. It's several P rays. I don't want to be on that trade right there. So I'll wait till the next candle and see if it creates a fair value gap. I'm out. If it just rejects, I'm out. Or I'm coming out and I'm out. So. Okay, so it created a fair value gap here. You have this inversion fair value gap here. All right, so one, two, three, and in the middle of this one. Yeah, I'm out. Yeah, I'm out. That's just the way I'm managing my trade. My, 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 a little bit of a gut feel. I don't like that. There's too much right here that it's just going back through. Um, to remove my trailing stop, and we'll just play out a little bit more and see what happens here. I would have been taking out the next couple candles over anyway. So turned out to be a good call. But that's why I would do that. I use a three PD, PD array rule is because we had, we took out both sell side and buy side liquidity already. So now we're, we've traded back into an efficiency and now we've traded back up into a external liquidity. I swing high, right? So you went from external to external, which technically was probably this fair value gap right here. Let me see. Yeah, into this fair value gap right in here, or an order block right here. So then we went back into an internal, right? And now we're going into external. So I just get feeling up here. I don't like it. Didn't like it. So I'm glad I got out there. Um, not sure if we hit this later in the day or not. I don't know. So let's take off the the position here. Okay, so we started the the uh, PM session with New York lunch uh, uh, liquidity being taken on the bottom, on the sell side and on the buy side, and then we had a pullback to optimal trade entry to fair value gaps. So we took our trade, aiming for the AM buy side liquidity. Now, as we took out the next high, we aggressively trailed our stop and looking for three PD rays to get violated to get out or hit our TP. Well, we kept seeing a lot of PD rays, and I didn't even mark them all here, that were violated. Okay, so we ended up getting three PD rays violated. We got out of our trade. We had a fair value gap. We had an inversion, and we had an order block. Reasons enough to, to get out of the trade. Okay, so we got out of our trade. We didn't hit our TP, but we did secure $565. So that's still a win. So that is your PM Silver Bullet for Monday, November 13th.